Alright, welcome back to another multiplayer match. This is going to be a replay cast because of the uh, lag issues that I had with the opponent. But we're playing as the Dwarves, and we're matched up against Kislev on Crossing the Sea of Claws, I believe the map is called. I've played the map many a time, but I don't know how I'm forgetting the name of it. But either way, we got Ungram Iron Fist as our Lord. Got a lot of Dwarf, uh, dwarf Warriors with great weapons, Miners with Blasting Charges, two Quarrelers, Rangers and uh, two grudge throwers. So my initial idea was to play the center. You see I'm right clicking there and I'm doing the I'm doing the thing that I have a bad tendency to do where I clump up my guys and they end up all mashing through this one path. Um, but either way my opponent is uh, Kislev like I mentioned they got Mother Ostanki as their lord, double little Grom, uh, triple Strelsi and double things in the woods. So he's got a pretty small build. You can see he's only got 15 uh, max cards. And I went somewhat wider. So my initial idea was um, that I was going to play the middle, fortify here. Once I felt I had a solid hold, then I would go for this side and I was gonna use my artillery and my range power to my advantage. Um, one thing I've been doing is paying attention to the armor values of the different factions and trying to build my armies kind of based on that so if a, if a faction has a lot of armored infantry i'll try to get armor piercing for that if they have you know a lot of cavalry that are heavily armored i might try to get armor piercing for my large type troops um i brought a bolt thrower because of that in case he brought the bear riders and um so that's the part of the reason i brought this war for with great weapons and uh i figured miners with blasting charges would be able to help against some of the some of the ranged firepower if I could get them on top of them uh, because they're not so heavily armored from what I've seen between like the Kossar units and whatnot. So you can see Mother Ostanka getting some shots off. I took some shots from Lilligram on the approach. So I decided to split up because I saw him sending some stealthy over to this corner. So I've got some uh, some dwarf wars, some miners, my lord, uh, quarrelers headed to the middle. A lot more dwarf warriors and miners headed to the right side. We've got a thing of rangers. These guys have stalk, so he does not know that they're here. And I've got one grudge thrower on each side. And so what I'm going to do is just try to get some capture weight over here. I'm going to blitz the Strelsi because things of the woods are not really like a frontline unit. Um, they are brawlers. They're good against infantry, but they're not heavily armored. So without any type of infantry support, they're not going to sustain super well. Um, at least not from my understanding. Because if you think about it, there's 20, there's 20 models and they've only got 30 armor. So um, being large entities, they're a bigger target. And so now you can see I'm opening up on them with Rangers. Strelsi shooting into the uh, miners. And the Strelsi are going to be really, really efficient against my uh, Dwarf Infantry. You can see these Dwarf Warriors with great weapons got shredded by the Kings of the Woods and the Strelsi combination. So they're going to be running off. We've got a Patriarch on my miners with Blasting Charges, but Ungram's going to get on top of the Patriarch and more things of the woods coming. The little groms are going to be a threat to basically any type of uh, a large unit that I've got. I did bring on the gyrocopter with brimstone guns as a uh, response to Mother Ostakia. I wanted these guys to be a response to some of the cavalry play and whatnot that they've got. And grudge throwers are mainly firing on the Strelsi. Um, I think I was in the middle of saying Strelsi are going to be very good against the infantry that I have because Basically all Dwarf infantry are heavily armored and Strelsi have good armor piercing values, decent range. Um, I'm pressuring pretty hard though and able to get on top of them with some Dwarf Warriors you see on both sides. They're actually holding their own. I forgot that Strelsi have armor piercing melee attacks so they're actually handling themselves um, dealing with the Dwarf Warriors in the direct engagement. This squad not so much because I've got the Grudge Thrower over here shooting at them. Things of the Woods pushing through the infantry and um, I'm just going to try to keep shooting them down with the Rangers because of their low armor. And Rangers and Quarrelers, neither of them have much armor piercing value. You can see a big splash from, uh, I don't know if that was from, from the Lord. I'm not sure what abilities she has, but just clearing out the miners with blasting charges. But the good thing is the Gyrocopter is shadowing her. Ungrim is dealing well with the of the woods. He already fought off the Patriarch over there. And as long as I keep some infantry support on top of him, he should be okay. We've got a little bit of a, a decent lead on value. Um, he can get heals if he gets a uh, Patriarch on the field. Got Wing Lancers over here, capture in point three. And so right now what I'm looking at is I'm thinking, okay, 
I definitely have the infantry advantage for sure. So I'm going to use that to try to make sure I get capture wave on points one and two. And I'm just going to be satisfied with a double cap. Usually as a dwarfs, I don't think you would really ever try to go for a triple cap. Um, and although I do have a wider build on him, yeah, so he, he conceded there. Um, but anyways, I got Ungram on top of the Lord. He was not micro her a lot. Um, and she, she was like being pesky. She mauled off some of my quarrelers, was getting shots off on my grudge thrower that was up on the hillside and whatnot. But overall, I think that was kind of a build win. Again, he went very narrow. We'll, we'll see this in the um, cards afterwards. So real quick on the damage values, Ungrim, 1900 value. He fought a Patriarch, he fought Things of the Woods, and he fought Mother of Stock here. So he was going to get good value. And uh, he didn't really get mobbed by any infantry or anything like that. So Grudge Throwers were okay. Quarrelers and Rangers were okay. Uh, nothing crazy from the Dwarf Warriors and Miners. I didn't get the Giant Slayers on. Again, these guys were going to be kind of a response to the uh, War Bear Riders or some of the heavy cavalry like Winged Lancers that he could have brought. Uh, Slayers were a response for things in the woods. Like I said, the Gyrocopter was the response for um, some of the large targets like uh, War Bear Riders or what is that? There's a new, a new large single entity they have. I forget what it's called, but it's like a big beast unit. Um, but that thing definitely paid off. It, it was basically stalking Mother Ostanki the whole match, and that's what I wanted them to do. They took a, a little bit of damage from the uh, Little Grom shooting at them, but served their purpose and definitely earned their value. And nothing else really got brought on. I did get the bolt throwers, but they were just shooting at one of the Little Groms. You can see they chipped a little bit of damage from them. So for him, Mother Ostanki, not so much. I don't know how much she cost, so it's hard for me to say. I mean, she definitely didn't earn her value. I would imagine she's like, 1800 to 2200 cost. I don't have the DLC for her, so I'm not sure. Little Groms did okay. I forget how much they cost. It's been a while since I played Kislev um, and taken advantage of enough of their roster that I can remember things like this. Strelsey definitely did not pay for themselves, although they shredded a couple squads of the Dwarf Warriors. I think once he saw what I was coming with, it would have been best for him to step back in his spawn area and. Um, and just make me come to him and kind of do like a skirmish play until he had more frontliners on the field. Things of the Woods, nothing to really talk about. This is the this is the other unit that I was kind of thinking about when I brought the gyrocopters with a brimstone gun, the incarnate elements of beasts, elemental of beasts. So uh, Oath Brothers of Tor didn't get on the field. The winged lancers were only picking up a point on the backside. The patriarch got chewed up by Ungrim. And he only got other, another squad of things in the woods on the field. But I am very confused why he didn't bring much infantry. Could be a newer player who's just not as familiar with the rosters. Um, but either way, well played to my opponent. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.